Hi guys, today I thought I'd do a quick file and polish on the feet. Thea will be my model and the reason for this, the sun's out, it's really really warm at the moment and everybody's getting the toes out and sandals on and summery time so I just thought it's really good and obviously working in a beauty salon all we're getting at the moment is pedicures file and polishes um, a file and polish um, consists of it's a quick pedicure right guys so as you can see these are these <laughs> not very attractive Rind feet my feet and my toes not, not very attractive them. feet at the moment they will be once my mum's finished with them yes. because she's really good at doing so we're going to start off pretty. always remove the excess nail polish on my, my nails at the moment I've had a few testers going on um, so I've had mine done today I'll show you them at the end. I'll show you my funky toes. Oh, they look quite nice actually. They do, they don't, don't they? Flowers, huh? So, any kind of excess polish on the toenails. Take that off. Don't everybody laugh at my toes. Right. Next day, try and everything out, everything, everything pretty much set up. Like um, this if you can where you where you're doing it you know we're on the red at the moment okay so i'm going to start off with some toenail clippers um these are just bog standard toenail clippers they're quite strong ones so Be i'm going to clip um, you can use little scissors nail scissors but i prefer to use the toenail scissors it always scares me the toenail clippers sorry they're a lot better obviously make sure you're not flicking that's what I like about them as well. They quite they kind of like enclose. Ow. Sorry. Okay. You can. I have really long toenails as well. Because I never ever at the ever, moment you have because you've not. Yeah. I never ever ever like cut them or anything. I don't really bother with my feet. I don't know why. And I have really dry feet. Not really. A bit of a stickler for toes and toenails. I think it's because I do them day in, day out. And hers always look pretty. Okie dokie. So, we're going to get a file and I have just a plain black file. These are um, files that I use at work actually. Um, so we use these at work professional files. I don't like people filing me. I have this thing and it proper goes through me. Yeah, I'm very Okay. Always, oh by the way, always, yeah. always cut straight across. And always file straight across as well. Um, zooming in on my feet obviously it prevents ingrown toenails by doing that and ingrown toenails can be very very sore should always try and keep them not extremely short I'm not into extremely short toenails Ow, so I'm just sorry just try and keep them clipped and neat as well and it's nice to have nice toenails hmm can you see quite well? Yeah. Yeah, because I'm zoomed in on my toes. Which is a bit disturbing for me and for everybody else, but we're just giving them a really, really good file. The reason I just do that and file down it's just to get the excess of the filings away from the nail. to chop this one but I'll still give it a bit of a file sorry Thea it's alright turn your foot fire. slightly that's it perfect right we have nice file toes lovely straight <laughs> nice <laughs> file toenails okay oh, thanks. so now I'm going to Get tissue. Hey, congratulations. Roll it like that and then into a cylinder. Finger, just twist the tissue like 
that. Okay. Now with that, a lot of people use the toe separators. I don't like them. I think they make I don't like them either. So big, and I think they stretch your toes they're too much. So clunky. I prefer this. We we do this in the You do like a little. Using. You do a little spirally yeah, diagonal shape around your toes. Your toes. And this is just to space your toes out to make sure that none of the nails are going under the under toes and touching and all that kind of thing. And um, Monk, if you could demonstrate that again, please. Again. And roll with the finger. Twist. <laughs> in between the toes I mean these are quite spaced out it's the odd one like that one there goes under that one slightly just obviously so the polish doesn't smudge that's basically what it's all about okay, okay. now a new fresh cotton pad with a little bit of more of nail polish remover and this is just to cleanse all the shavings away oh all the filings away should I say and just to make the nail nice and clean, ready to be polished. And obviously doing this, making sure there's no, I mean with a pedicure, now you'd get like a, a bit of a massage and a bit of oil around the toe area. Um, and then after that, you'd have to remove it because obviously the nail polish wouldn't stick um, and it certainly wouldn't last. So if you do this now, make sure everything is really cleansed from all the cream, any kind of cream or, anything that's slippy or mucky um, it's got a nice base then for the polish to stay on okay. just like an eyeshadow with primer there we go mm -hmm. well done. right my toes weird we are going to start off with a base coat now this always always should use a base coat on your toe on Stop your moving your it around and your, your fingernails and toenails obviously base coat it gives a good base for the colour it helps Hence the colour last coat. And it's, it doesn't, so the colour doesn't stain your nail as well. So if you're wearing a black or a red or something really dark, you're not, it's obviously not staining. That is why you should use a base coat. This is a Misa base coat. This is a professional one from, from the salon. So it is a professional one. So I think you can only get it from wholesalers. Um, but it is good. So we use Misa base coat. And we do have Misa colours in the salon. And I'm actually need a new one because I'm running out because we do use it quite a lot. Um, okay. So basically just to give each nail one coat of base okay obviously you don't have to be ultra careful with a base coat because it's clear the colour Thea has chosen is a Jessica colour um, it's quite a summery colour it's like a pinky orangey coral colour all that's in at the moment um, yeah, this is Jessica. This is also a professional. Um, a lot of salons do Jessica. Um, a lot of hotel salons actually do Jessica as well. I find that in a lot of hotels where they have spas and you can have your toes and your nails done and things. And this is 103 and it's called copper. So I suppose it is like a coppery, colory, co corally colour. Can you speak really today? Good. No, not really. Um, <laughs> it's got a little bit of a gold undertone to it. It's really shimmery. Oh. Okay. You ready? Now with the colour, obviously try and be as careful as possible. Now you can tidy up afterwards, it's not always, you know, panic stations if you get it anywhere. Um, well I like this colour, it's quite nice. It's lovely, isn't it? Try not to go to the very, very edge of the cuticle because you, you can flood the cuticle quite easily. So I always, if, I, if you can, you leave a slight, slight gap. So I've seen people doing the with their toes toe. as well, which is really weird, like doing it sideways. Sideways? Like, yeah, like horizontally, not vertically, yeah. do you know? I've always thought that was a bit weird. Leaving a bit of a slight gap. Okay. And they always polish across, always seal the nail. Always seal the nail. Always seal. Remember, this is just the first coat. So, if you don't get the full coverage, obviously you go over again. For the second coat, I'm 
have the second cow I'm going to seal all the toes and it's just going over the top by doing a line like that and you're basically sealing the nail polish okay so it's less likely to chip basically as you can see I've, already, I've gone over the skin now I'll be tidying that up at the very end when I finish the colour and it does make a difference sealing and not sealing when I started doing toes and uh, and fingers obviously I never used to last as long um, it did chip very much very easily and since I've sealed since I've learnt how to seal I suppose or was told to do it um, it, it has made such a difference right tidy up time now see they look pretty already tidy up time you need nail varnish remover and this is just a nail varnish remover from a cheap shop they're all pretty much the same it's an acetone free one um, I was going to say so you don't get the smell but you do get the smell um, but yeah it is acetone free so now I'm just going to dab an earbud into the nail polish remover make it really wet okay now with this I'm going to go along and tidy up so basically you just tidy in really carefully around the area where there's just that excess bit of nail polish okay so just across the side wherever you've put any of the excess and with the excess as well on the skin it always comes off you know it comes off in the shower if you're going on holiday it'll come off in the sea in the pool that little bit of excess that's on the skin it will come off it anyway flakes, you can't get to it. it it does yeah it'll always come off and also a good instrument that you can use for this as well um, is an orange an orange stick which is the long stick that you find in many salons and things or just a long wooden stick that's actually called orange sticks I thought um, you were going to say orange skin or something then no. I was going to say what? okay so there's the tidy up okie dokie it's a nice colour like a real orangey burnt orange colour see my toes look gorgeous now okay so now we are doing a coat of top coat this is a quick dry top coat this is also um, Salon it's uh, from Salon it's Spa Ritual um, professional top coat and they do colours in this also and base coats actually um, but we find that the top coat is a really really good top coat and it is quick drying um, obviously with this type of polish you do in a base coat two, two colours and a top coat it, takes a long time to fully dry I'd recommend that you don't put socks tights anything like that over because you will it will mark um, you know make our clients sit for a good 10-15 minutes after they've had them done before they put the sandals on and then we say you know keep your sandals on all day um, so yeah but you know it, it is a good top coat it's a very very shiny top coat which you get a real good finish on it okay. you can get matte top coats as well which make the uh, nail varnish matte and not yeah. shiny this is a real shiny shiny top coat which I like matte top coats because I like quite matte yeah. finishes on things and again I'm sealing all the edges with the top coat so you're just going across That's so you're cuff. popping on and you're going across and remember top coat you don't have to be perfect, you don't have with, to be perfect it. with it because it is clear always remember to seal and you will get the longest time out of your nails uh, sometimes I've I remember I went to a party once in March and my mum did my toenails for me she did them really nice kind of browny um, peachy colour and they lasted for about three weeks right well there we go that's a finishing product now one last thing this is great now this is from Avon and I'm on like the third bottle of it. This is called, it's from Avon, it's called Nail Experts Liquid Freeze Quick Dry Nail Spray and it is fab and I would recommend that. It works like that. magic. And it's, I think it's about, it's about three quid or something. Is it? Is it about three pounds? I, I actually so. don't know but it's very, very good. 
Now you leave the toes just for a couple of minutes, just leave the polish on the toes just to set and then what you can do with this is, just from a bit of a far, you give it a bit of an air spray like that and that is great and what it is it's like an oil so it just quick dries it, like you. Say, it could be oil based. Isn't it? It's oil based. Yeah. You can tell it is but it's absolutely fab I swear by it. I mean, me, I do my nails and within 10 minutes knock them, that's it, gone. So, but with that, it really does help. So, I would recommend that. The only problem Avon, is with so it, say if, get hold of it, say if you put it on your fingernails, which I've done a couple of times, it does make your fingers really, really, really slippery. Yes, slippery. Slippery. <laughs> slippery. 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 Um, right, so there we go. There's a finished product. I have a quick file and polish. It takes about 15 20 minutes to do. Oh, yeah, my toes look pretty. pretty. Oh, don't they look nice? Yeah, they look really nice. They're really pretty, then. Look really, See, really my nice. Feet look nice now. I want to show mine now. Alright, here we go. Here's my mum. Mummy's top. They're nice. really nice. And I have mine done today, and I've had. What colour is it to put them down a, then? A new red colour that we've had in the shop. These are little transfers. That we have we have all different styles and shapes thought do this is a new red that we just had in actually it's spa ritual new red that, and i thought go on i'll give it a go for my holes and i'll just funk it up a bit by having a couple of transfers got little diamonds on so yes yeah, so i thought I'd give give them a go so i hope you like mine as well obviously i didn't do mine myself i do do them myself but i didn't do them myself today one of the girls that i work with did them for me oh there we go okay so, yes, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that. Don't keep going up. Okay, I'll say bye. No, don't say bye to me. No. I'll look at that. <laughs> bye, Thea, and your toes. Goodbye. See you soon.